Hi guys, I'm Johnny Chivers. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is the update series where I'm looking at my YouTube goals, AWS goals, and then side project goals related to everything that I do here over the course of 2021, trying to hold myself to account for what I'm trying to achieve, but also just taking a second to look and reflect in hindsight of how far we've came. And then the idea is that anyone wanting to start a YouTube channel or create content material for lessons or AWS or whatever it may be, could find this kind of useful resources as I discuss what's working and what's not working as we go. And then they can avoid the same pitfalls. I think that's better, as I said in the first video, than looking at it in hindsight after we've achieved something or failed something. At least this way we get the kind of honest opinion as we go. In terms of the goals in the last video, there was kind of five or six of them I laid out for the kind of short term, medium term and long term. One was to increase that subscribership. And to do that, I was going to change the way the kind of channel looked in terms of thumbnails and then putting myself on camera more and then address some of the content itself. The next thing I was going to do was update my website because it was just bland and it needed done. And then on top of that, I was looking at creating a certification course. Wasn't quite sure what one I'm going to do yet. And then on top of that, finally, I'm creating a, another side project that's going to act as a community driven learning revision resource for certifications. So let's delve into that a wee bit deeper. So the subscribership itself, it was just below 100 last time I put that on screen. Now, we're actually over 150 as of tonight. We saw a 50% increase in subscribership over the last kind of 28, 29 days, which is a phenomenal return. And to do this, I kind of alluded to it. I, I changed the thumbnails just to make them more appealing to everyone. I then updated the channel art on top of it. And then the last 10 videos, I have put my face on camera. And that's kind of allowed people maybe to make a bit more of a connection with me, see what I'm about. And those videos are actually doing very well, which is, which is great news. And I really appreciate people viewing them. So just making things a bit more jazzier, a bit more reflective of my personality. And um, we seem to be working wonders. Couldn't, couldn't be going better right now. That's actually also led to increased viewership, which is, which is phenomenal. In terms of the website, it was a bit of an add-on for me. It was kind of like, here's my website. That's the website. As I said, I'm not a front-end developer. So these things are new to me. I'm big data space, but I'm learning as I go. And right enough, I kind of addressed the problem. I'll put it on screen now of kind of the homepage and that about page. They were just bland. I wasn't doing anything for me or people I think using the material. So the new website, if you haven't been, I'll put it on the screen now, it's completely changed. It's got a far better reflection of me as a person. There's a lot more content than even on that kind of home screen describing what we're trying to do here. And then the about screen is just a bit more friendly. Having said that, it does look good on a computer or laptop screen. It is built at HTML5 bootstrap, so it is reactive to screen size, but there are a few more things I need to iron out in there just so when you go down the mobile size or tablet size that the text, the correct um, height and things like that. So I need to do that in CSS. I'll probably push that out for an achievement next time we do these videos. So maybe three or four weeks. That's kind of a short term goal. So I'll deal with the screen sizes on my website as we go. The other thing that was really lacking on the website was that lessons page. It had some great content on it, but was impossible to find because there wasn't a search. I've introduced the search bar, which I hope people are using. In fact, I know people are using. Um, it's, it's a Google native search bar. It's not built into the website. So there are ads when you search, unfortunately, but it's the quickest way for me to achieve something that was going to be of high quality. So I hope you don't mind the ads for now. I will build something into the website long term. That's uh, that's native, but that will probably be towards the end of 2021. And then in terms of the website itself, they know, we, I think the usership has increased by like 200% in the last three weeks. Obviously just by making it a bit more appealing. And there's definitely a feedback loop between YouTube, the website, website and the YouTube. So these things are starting to kind of create its own circle. And then people are kind of moving between them all as they need different things, which is great. And I hope people keep using that content. And again, as I always say, if you want something or, you know, a video is out there that I've done and it's not quite what you need or you think it could be done better, reach out either in the comment section on Twitter or even via the contact form on the website, put in, put in what you think needs done. And, you know, I'll take that on board and we'll take it forward together and I'll try and produce content and videos and, and lessons that addresses those gaps. And while we're kind of talking about content, what I've done in terms of YouTube is I've started this kind of beginner series lessons, which are kind of the fundamentals of core AWS services. We do a bit of theory and then we do a bit of console. They're going to be a real gateway for people to get in, especially into the world of big data where things can get really complicated really quickly. So these kind of act as these um, halfway homes where you can start, 
learn a bit and then push on with other content on, on the channel. And any other content on the channel, I've started those 101 series that I've been talking about. So that Kinesis one's out there and it's doing really well actually. It's five or six lessons on Kinesis. We cover all three types of streams. We build a real time streaming app using them all. And by the end of it, you know, we've got all that theory nailed down and you'll need for certification. The next 101 series is actually going to be AWS Lake Formation. It's almost complete. Again, it's going to be five or six lessons. We're going to do hands on theory and practical. And then we'll build an AWS data lake using lake formation. I'm really excited about this one. This is what I work in in my day job. So hopefully I'm able to architect this and get across the principles quite well. And then the certification course itself, I think I'm going to do one of the data ones. I think that makes the most sense. This will be a longer term thing. We're going to head towards the end of 2021 for this. Um, and the idea would be that we just have a free certification course from A to Z on the channel. And anyone can use it as a free resource moving forward. And then finally, the last thing that I kind of talked about was that uh, community-led revision tool, which is going to be its own independent side project away from the YouTube channel on the website. Working on that in the background, you know, an hour a day, two hours a day is getting put into it at the moment, three or four hours at the weekend. Most of the functionality is actually almost built as we speak of tonight. There's a wee bit more to do. I, I kind of think that'll be three or four more weeks. After that's done, I need to make it pretty. So, you know, I'm not a front-end developer, so this will take me a little while aesthetically. I like to enter maybe alpha testing with a couple of you guys around May or June. We'll then make it beta testing kind of over the summer and um, we'll aim for kind of a, a November rollout. In terms of things achieved, we've increased that subscribership by over 50%. We're heading towards that 500 target for the end of the year. If this keeps up, we should hit it. Hopefully no hiccups along the way, but that's probably just due to the content getting better. So hopefully as the content gets better, subscribership increases, the viewership increases, and we're all happy. Website wise, I've made it prettier. It's definitely more jazzed up. Damn reflects my personality better. Long term, I need to get that search native, but that's going to be a long term goal. Courses, well, we've already alluded to it. The lessons, we've got that kind of beginner lesson series going on now, which has got that kind of divide between beginners, intermediates, and professionals. I'm working on one on one series, which takes you into deep dives on services um, or services that you can use together to achieve things. Kinesis is out there. You can build your own real time Kinesis streaming app. I'm doing lake formation, shoot by towards the end of this week. And then after that, I'm probably going to do glue. Aside from that, then there's the overall cert that we want to do. Probably going to be the data analytics. Long-term goal, end of the year, 2021 is where we're pushing that out. And then I've just gave you the kind of roadmap for this uh, community-driven revision tool that I'm, I'm, I'm designing. I don't want to give you a name. I don't want to give away too much yet because like, I'm still in that kind of functional design, design phase. It will come. And we can kind of address things um, that come up with it along the journey uh, once I kind of get the name out there and get a bit more functionality around it. So thanks for watching. I've been Johnny Chivers. Any questions, pop them in the comments. Drop me an email via the website. And until next time, thanks very much.